guys, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and I actually missed doing something with the macro eraser. And it's amazing because usually that's one of the first things I do is I need to go in and I need to run a little uh, test. Uh, not really a test. I just have a series of uh, silver and one gold object here. And I'm just going to run them across rings of various sizes. Uh, you know, I got a silver, a couple of silver chains in there. I'm going to use at least one of them. I'm not going to do everything in this thing, but I'm going to do, like for instance, this is a large silver ring. I've got more, multiple large silver rings. I won't do that, uh, but I will do uh, the chain. Those chains are just somewhat troublesome potentially. And uh, if I go in here, I'll get, I've got a series of very small rings. I've got the baby, uh, the baby silver ring I've got. And I have got another uh, small silver ring with a jewel of some kind. And I am also going to go in. And of course, I'll do the old world famous nickel. I'm not sure why the nickel is in here. I think it's from a previous test. I'll do a nickel because a nickel is always an important one. And so I think I've pretty much got a cross section in here uh, of, uh, of things. Uh, let me go. Let me also do. I'm also going to do this, uh, one of my few top lot finds I've, I've gotten uh, uh, of anything, any valuable metal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a little uh, sterling. I think that's a, I'm not really sure what that stone is in the middle. But a uh, little sterling and a uh, little sterling earring and I'm also going to run that test. And we're gonna, I'm going to see what it reads and I'll show you the object and what it reads. And for whatever good, if you find of it, you might be able to use it. Uh, I think I always think it's interesting. It also gives me an idea of a range of targets that are valuable. And of course, uh, I forgot the one most important target here, and that is the the 10K uh, uh, gold class ring. Still haven't been able to find a person that it belongs to, but I've still got it, and I'm still trying. In any case, uh, that'll be it. Then uh, we're going to uh, see now if I can actually. Uh, uh, you know get this up and we'll find out uh, what these read and maybe it'll give me some idea of a spectrum of targets I, I realized that I, I I was not did not have a good idea of range of targets with the racer uh, And that's unusual for me. I don't know why I must not be thinking clearly lately. All right Let me go ahead and get this started and uh, we will uh, see how this works all right, here we go. I'm going to switch this on. Turn it up considerably. Now, I'm going to have to uh, go down here and reduce the gain down. So it really doesn't matter what the gain is. I'm going to be swinging this right in front of the... I dropped it all the way down to 30. This is not for depth, this is just an ID test. So I've got it down to 30, so you can't really get much lighter than that. And now I'm going to run in front of it the, the large men's silver ring. And let's see how it, uh, how it reads. That's good. Now, I'm going to take the very, very small baby silver ring. These were these were finds from last year. I've never sold silver. And uh, only sold one of the gold. So, here we go. A very small baby silver ring. Eighty-two. Now, that's very stable if you notice on those two uh, targets. One was 93, one was 82, and pretty much consistently stayed there. Now, let me just take the old mighty nickel, which is going to be a, uh, usually considered a gold equivalent. Let's see what we get here. We should get a mid-tone here. Uh, well, we don't have mid-tone. I've got it on two-tone, so we're just looking at the IDs. 55. Okay, solid 55.56. I have found a few nickels, so that, that, that really does uh, fit. And let me take the small. 
small dangling sterling silver earring I've got here. Let me see what that is. I'm thinking, uh, let's make a guess. I might, I think it might come in about where the baby the silver ring came in, about 82. Let's see if I'm right. Wow. <laughs> that was a lucky guess. It's dead on 82. It took a while to get that to, to make a sound. And here is another, uh, sorry, didn't mean to hit the thing, a relatively small baby ring. Could be a, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, garnet, a ruby. I'm not sure what, what would be red in here. Doubt, doubt if it would be a ruby. Let's try this one then. Okay, 84, 85. So it looks like small silver is in the low 80s and the big silver is up into the 90s. All right. Let's uh, go with uh, let's go with the silver chain. I'm gonna do the silver chain two ways. One way I'm gonna dangle it, so it's just one little, so just one little bit of silver in front of it. Then I'm going to pile it up like this and do it again, and uh, we'll see. First, I'm gonna dangle it in front, and let's see what it gets here. Guys, that's pretty good. Doing the dangle like this, I'm getting 69 or 70 pretty consistently. And I'm going to pile it up and just stick it in my hand and just wave my hand in front of it. And let's see what I get. That's not too inconsistent. It still went into the low 60s up to the mid 70s when it was piled. So when it actually had uh, more surface area for the signal to hit. And here we go. Uh, my favorite test because this is what I what I love and so rarely find uh, The 10k gold ring. Let's just see it uh, 55 was a nickel. Let's just see where this uh, large men's uh, class ring falls All the way up into 76 now 76 is also where we find I think that I recall us finding some pull tabs here and I actually have a couple examples here I have a full pull tab here and I have a ring pull just a ring part of it let's see what it comes in see if it how, how it relates to the gold okay it's in the high 60s now that was the full ring tab and now I'm just going to go with the ring pull, just the ring. Low 60, so it looks like the 60s are going to be where my my ring tabs are going to um, probably also my small gold. Don't have an example of small gold to test this with today, but that's pretty cool. Let me go back again and uh, let's see if I've missed anything. I think that's gives me some balance of what's going on. Uh, I know that, uh, that even from the low 80s up into the 90s can be silver of various sizes. I now know that some of the 60s is going to contain some of the ring tabs and some of the ring pulls. And I also know that, of course, nickel is a 55. So that would probably be about the range you would find uh, medium gold targets. And of course, small gold can just be any darn place. And so, and so uh, that's a. Uh, I just wanted to run this. It's a very quick test, and you know, if you, you know, I, it's just basically for me. But I thought I'd record it because heck, I record darn near everything. Uh, so if you do find it interesting, that's good. If you don't have a uh, uh, macro eraser, it might interest you to see what those are. If you do have a macro eraser, you probably w went through this step prior that I skipped. So. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a, an enlightening thing for you. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and that little bit is done. And I will uh, see you next time.